Oh, what's up everybody? I'm Matt Gary, and on this episode of Coding with the Force, I'm going to show you how to get around a very frustrating limitation with person accounts in search layouts. All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you how to get past a somewhat frustrating limitation with person accounts in Salesforce. Um, and that's that if you have users that use both person accounts and business accounts, there is no way to make two distinct search layouts for um, those types of accounts. So as you can kind of see here to demonstrate the problem, I guess, uh, we have two accounts, both of them are named Jimothy Timothy, real great name. Um, and one of them has a mailing street, another one doesn't, and uh, then there's a, a billing street for both of them. Uh, if you didn't know, you know, uh, most um, most person accounts only have mailing streets. I mean, typically they leverage the mailing street more than the others. And um, business accounts don't have a mailing street because that's only accessible to person accounts. And there's a handful of other things where, you know, you would just fill it out on a person account or you would just fill it out on a business account or whatever else. And you ideally don't want those to, you know, show up uh, in a search layout for a business account. Uh, you know, you don't want those person account specific things to show up in the business account and just have these empty blank fields um, and waste you know opportunities for information to be displayed about those different types of accounts so I'm gonna show you how to get around that problem uh, by leveraging formula fields to display what you need based on whether or not it's a person account or it's a business account that we're viewing here in the search layout so real quick I just want to show you I mean obviously in the object manager there is a person account representation but as you can see there's not a search layout in here and there's you know there's mostly nothing you can do with a person account if you didn't know um, a person account is a just a mashup of an account record and a contact record so every time you make a person account you're making an account record and a contact record that are linked together the search layout for a person account is completely driven by the account object, uh, which you can see over here um, in the search layout. We can see that there's the account name, mailing address, and billing street. And for the system administrator, it, system administrator, which I am, there's the account name, mailing street, and billing street. So let's make a couple of formula fields to illustrate exactly um, what I mean here, and so these formula fields can get super complicated to the point where you know maybe uh, you have five different things that you want to display in one search layout um, field for uh, a business account and um, the same for a person account it can get as complicated as you want but I'm just gonna show you a really simple way or a couple of simple things that you can do so we'll make a text formula field and we'll call this um, address or we can just call it account address or let's keep it even simpler account uh, street address and what we'll do here uh, if you're on simple formula go to the advanced formula editor it makes your life a little easier which you'll see here in a minute but we'll say if um, it is a person account so if you're not familiar with this field in the back end there is a checkbox that is checked when a account is made as a person account and it's unchecked if it's a business account so we'll say if is person account then what we'll want to do and I know this field by heart at this point but I'll show you how to get here um, if you don't, which you probably don't, there is in the um, insert field, you can go to the person account and you can go to um, mailing uh, street down here and insert it. So if we're looking at a person account, then we're going to display the person contact mailing street. 
Otherwise, we will just display, we'll say the billing street for regular accounts. And we'll close that if statement off. And we'll hit next. And just for simplicity, I'm going to leave it visible to everyone here. You probably don't want these on page layouts, I'll say. You could probably uncheck that because, you know, I doubt that end users are going to care to have that on their page layouts. Um, and then we'll make, you know, one more formula field. Again, just to keep this simple, um, we're going to, well, not a text field, formula field that is of type text. And we'll say um, account city. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll say if is person account, then we'll go down to our person account field and pull in our mailing, oh, mailing city. And otherwise, if it's a business account, we'll pull in our billing city. Cool. And it really is just that simple. So after we've set up those fields, which I will have to remind myself what I call them, uh, account street address and account city, um, then what we'll do is we'll go over here to our search layouts. And we'll go down here to our system administrator or to whatever profile it is you're wanting to update the search layout for. And we will remove the mailing street and the billing street. And we'll find our account. I'm probably going to pass it. First thing, um, this is a very useful field to stick into your search layout if you're having users that can view both of them. So if you have the room in your search layout, make sure to put is person account in there. Um, it kind of just denotes what they're looking at even, even clearer. Oh, where are you? Account. There it is. Account city and an account street address. So unfortunately, you can't remove the account name from a search layout. Um, so if you wanted customized names, you can still do that, uh, but you have to leave that account name in there. That way they can click the link for the account. Um, luckily, this isn't a huge problem for person accounts and, and business accounts, but just wanted to make that known. You can't, you can't remove that anyway. So now that we've put those um, formulas into our search layout, let's go back over here, and I'm going to do Control-Shift-R to hard refresh this page. And you'll see here now that we don't have empty fields just laying around for no reason. We've got our account name, a checkbox that shows me this is definitely a person account. Cool. And then um, we have our two formula fields. And you can see for the top one, we're displaying our mailing address. So for our person account, we're displaying our mailing address. And for our bottom one, we're displaying the billing address. And that way, we don't have a bunch of empty space. Um, uh, we can technically kind of have unique search results for our person and our business accounts and users can easily see okay yeah this is a person account that I'm looking at just through the the wonder of this <laughs> checkbox that Salesforce holds behind the scenes so um, that's it uh, pretty simple pretty straightforward but it's not a solution that I see online and I, I Honestly, kind of just had to come up with this on my own uh, for a client a couple of years ago. So I wanted to share this with everyone out there that might be struggling with the same frustrating problem. All right. Um, hopefully this was helpful to someone. Uh, if you want more information, make sure to check out the blog post. If you want more Salesforce development or administration videos, make sure to subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.